Hey guys, we're here for round one of Popper Ponderings playing Greedy Jund. And I won the Dyrell, so I would like to play first. This hand is fine. We can go green into black for Putrid Leech and hopefully draw a land for Phyrexian Rager. And we have a bunch of removal spells in Night's Whisper. Yep, this hand is more than keepable. Moss McMichaels. This is a sweet avatar. Ugin. I like Talrand. Talrand's pretty sweet. When this card was in Standard, I played... I spent many a day trying to play kind of mid-range blue-red Delver Talrand decks. They weren't necessarily good, but wow, did I <laughs> did I enjoy them. Alright, so Evolving Wilds and F6. Let's see what he's on here. Oh, he's on Tron. That's not good. I'm going to go ahead and say... Our, in modern, this matchup is not good for Jund. And I'm going to go ahead and say that that probably is mirrored in Pauper. If I'm, <laughs> there's a Shimmering Grotto, so that is good for us. Prophetic Prison, all these things are good for us. Lightning Bolt, that's all right. Now I will say that Putrid Leech is quite the clock. He's like on a two turn clock right now. Two mana four fours are pretty good. Let's see what he goes here. These decks usually don't play Bolt. They usually play like Fire Bolt and um, oh perfect. This is This is all sorts of good here. All sorts of good. There's a mine. Another star. He'll just pass the turn. Not a land, but that's all right. Pay and put him down to eight. Cast Night's Whisper. Still not a land. That may be bad for us. Because he could have... Worst case scenario, he has Fangren Marauder here. Best case scenario, he has to look to find Tron, I guess. Start cracking these stars. Putrid Leech is good. Holy smokes. On the play, we had two of them. This would be something. This would be something. What's he doing? What's he doing? He's he's thinking. He's thinking. That could be good for us. That could be bad for us. Okay, so he's sacking a star. That's probably that probably means he doesn't. I guess doesn't have a nut frag and rope. Maybe not. Okay, blue. Mole drifter is pretty good for us here. If that's if that's his play. Wow, we got there. So the double Putrid Leech draw on the play was good enough to beat Tron game one. I like it. I like it. All right, I think we want these Ancient Grudges and we want the Natural States. Uh, other than that, we probably want a Chainer's Eater. We definitely don't want the Strangling Soots, the Disfigures, the Flame Slashes, or what? The Echoing Decays. Stagger Shot goes to the face, so that's probably okay. Can probably board in the duress. That's probably all right, just like that. All right, I'm feeling good now. I'm feeling good. We got game one on a two lander. All right, Modest McMichaels, what do you got, pal? Big game, big game. We've had a pretty good record when we played these like black green mid-range decks if you remember if you want to go back into uh mana base archives you can watch me play sultai lantern control a bit of a infinite combo with ivy lane denizen um make sure you do subscribe as well um we the mana base itself has a content website made um by essentially magic players for magic players who make content every single day myself my video series Popper Ponderings comes out every Thursday at 11. 
Um, I have another colleague of mine. He, or that's not, <laughs> colleague, that sounds pretty, <laughs> pretty formal. Um, another guy who makes videos for us, Devin. He makes videos. They go up every second Friday, and he's play, he plays like modern brews and that kind of thing. We're we're all about having fun. Um, you know, there's a lot of websites out there that. You know, why I can try to compete with Channel Fireball? Why try to compete with Star City when it comes to any sort of competitive content? So we're going to have some fun on uh, on the mana base. And, and that's what Poppy Ponderings is all about, playing these sweet kind of off-the-wall decks. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video and uh, continue to support us. This is, again, a community-driven effort. Magic, mate, magic content by Magic players for Magic players. All right, so we have the double putrid leech dragon, but he has the expedition map, which is bad for us. Maybe if we were on the play, I could see us. This just hat can't be a cannot be a tron piece. No tron piece one time. Okay, that is good. That is a tron piece that we can deal with. Get a forest. There's upkeep here. Swamp and Putrid Leech. Yep, cracking the map. So we get this Putrid Leech. That's a power plant. So he's not going to have Tron this turn. Chromatic Star. Okay. Chromatic Sphere. Okay. Chromatic Sphere. Okay. All right, attack with Putrid Leech, pay two life. There we go, Swamp, and another Putrid Leech. I'm going to pass the turn. So hopefully it's not a Tron piece, or I guess we're not looking for mine. No mine, no mine, no mine, no mine. I have to fade two mines? No! <laughs> <laughs> they always have it. Every time. And this is probably Fangin Nope. Okay. Not Fangin That's good. Seagate so Oracle. We can deal with that one. Four cards in hand. Hmm. Two. Prismatic Lens. Okay. Two. What is this going to be? Green. Ancient Stirrings. K. Okay. Need to find something good off these nice, nice whispers. Lumox Crusher. K. Okay. And Expedition Map. All right. Let's get a Colonel. Another star, and then probably Crack Expedition Map. Either like a haunted Fengraf or something. I assume it's haunted Fengraf. Or, or it's another Urza Tower. Okay. So now, what is best case scenario? We played Night's Whisper, draw a Lightning Bolt, and a Terminate, and the next turn, cast Night's Whisper, get a red, and kill that Ulamox Crusher. Can be done. These guys are powerful magic cards. These guys are standard playable. Remember, uh, this was kind of like right when I started to play Magic was Shards of Alara Standard. And um, there was like kind of a debate about which, what kind of version of Jund you played. Did you play with Knight's Wisp or with uh, Putrid Leech or without Putrid Leech? This card seems pretty powerful. All right. In with the boys here. I'm gonna put him down to 12 here unless he doesn't want to block. Thinking about it. What's he thinking about? Follow this up with a Knight's Whisper. Hmm. Yeah, so standard Jun, which was, you know, Sprouting Thrinax, 
Bloodbraid Elf, uh, Blightning, Bituminous Blast, and then Broodmate Dragon. There was always kind of a debate on whether or not you played Putrid Leech. I guess I couldn't really chime in. I was, a, I, think, I feel like when anyone ever starts to play Magic, they like never want to play the best decks. And uh, that's like kind of what happened to me in a sense that I always like I played Naya, which was just essentially a worse version of Jund. It was like it had worse, um, worse Bloodbraid Elf flips because you could hit like the mana creatures and stuff, and it just the deck just wasn't very good compared to something like Jund. And <laughs> but I remember that this was a debate of whether or not you played Putrid Leech in your Jund deck. All right, there's Ulamog's Crusher. We knew that guy was coming down. And hopefully his follow-up isn't that good. It's not. Okay. Secret Oracle is on no attacks, no blocks. What do we need here? Mountain. Okay. Now we can give <laughs> this Putrid Leech flying. That's kind of a thing. Three cards in our graveyard. Hmm. I don't think we want to send this Puger Leech in there just yet. So let's duress him and see what he's got. Then he, we have four mana. We can cast Gurmag Angler. That might be the best idea. Yeah, let's duress him. Alright, he's on a bunch of lands. Four. There's Gurmag Angler. Now, Ulamog's Crusher has to attack. Now, we are at 10, which is bad. We can actually just block the, with any Haunted Fangraphs at back. Hmm. Okay, they're going to sacrifice Swamp and Swamp. And we cannot. So we block here. Yeah, I think we have to block. Hopefully, he's just on nothing still. Plays a land that we know he has. Yep, there it is. Okay, that's good for us. There's the terminate that we need. So, does that just win us the game, I guess, is the question. I think it does. It should. Let's see what happens. Does this win us the game? Two colorless. Green. On a card. Do we do it? We did it! And we beat Jund! A matchup that we did not think was very good. We got their Putrid Leech. Wow, that card is sweet. Thanks for watching round one, guys. This is Austin Hoy with Popper Ponderings on the mana base playing greedy jun we just beat tron make sure you like share and subscribe to this video i make videos every single thursday popper ponderings check us out i'll be right back for round number two